Hello, welcome back students. Now I am going to discuss about an extremely important as well as interesting topic based on both reflection and refraction of light but basically on refraction and that is total internal reflection and critical angle. So without wasting time let's get started. So here in the first diagram you can see the first medium is considered as the denser medium which we may assume either glass or water and second medium is rarer medium okay which is okay air and since you can see that light is suffering or traveling from denser to rarer medium since light has started its journey from this medium so it is considered the first medium and since after refraction it is entering into the second medium so that's why it is considered okay as second medium so as we have already learned that when light travels from denser to rarer medium the refracted ray bends away moves away from normal means the angle of incidence is less than that of angle of refraction which you can clearly say from here okay you can see this i is the number then gradually what will you do then we will just gradually increase the value of angle of incidence and let's see what happens in the second diagram as you can see clearly you see here we have slightly increased the angle of incidence okay, the value of angle of incidence so now what will happen the angle of the value of angle of refraction will also be increased then it means it will move further it will move further away from the normal it means it will just become close to it will tend to close to the boundary surface but still angle of incidence is less than that of angle of refraction in the third picture again we will further increase the value of angle of incidence here you can see since the angle of incidence with the increase of the angle of incidence the angle of refraction is increasing means the refracted ray is moving away from the normal and moving closer to and getting closer to the boundary surface so when we further increase the value of angle of incidence then in this in the thigh diagram you can see it's it just grazing it touches the boundary surface it means here look at the angle here the angle of the value of angle of refraction is clearly 90 degree clear so it means in this case we are getting neither refracted ray okay there is no refracted ray there. okay yes there is no refracted ray in the second medium but there are the refracted ray is just grazing the surface kissing the surface and passes in the direction BC. So here you can see, so far it was II, but here it is IC. This angle is called critical angle. Okay. So we got a new angle of incidence. New term, which is its new name, that is critical angle. And this is the value of angle of refraction, that is 90 degree. So from that, we can easily define the critical angle. Okay. So what should be the definition of critical angle it means when light travels from denser to rarer medium then the value of angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the value of angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degree then that angle of incidence in the denser medium is called critical angle very simple clear okay now moves further then again we will not stop here again we will further increase the value of angle of incidence and let's see what happens next so here you can see in the fourth diagram we have further increased the value of angle of incidence so since the refracted ray is moving away from the normal and getting close to surface here then here then this then it is very clear that now it will move in this direction it means it will just reflect it back in the first medium that is denser medium which is actually happened here so it means in this case it is clear that the value of angle of incidence is greater than that of critical angle. Then if the angle of incidence in the denser medium is greater than the critical angle, then we no longer getting okay. There is no longer existence of the angle okay of refracted ray. This is like this totally bounced back, returning back in the first medium. Okay. And this is we can say that is whatever be the amount of light. So which light is incident on the first surface that is a in the first medium then we get the reflected light so we can see in this case the phenomenon of refraction is just disappeared vanishes totally vanishes total light is reflected back okay the total incident light 
is bounce back return return back in the first medium as reflected light this is for total internal reflection why total since entire incident light isn't it entire amount of incident light is bounces is, is bounce back return back in the same medium in where it was previous in the form of reflected light so that's why since entire okay since total entire incident light is bounced back so this is total and internal reflection means internal this is not in the external whatever is happening in the internal medium of the first medium it is not going to enter in the second medium inter means internal interior interior means we are talking about the first medium why it was incident in the first medium so internal case internal matter okay we generally use in our daily life so light is totally bounced back in the form of reflected light in the internal matter that is in first medium personal matter so there is no external medium is involved there so this is called total internal reflection and in this case almost 100% of incident light is bounced back and we obtain so this is called total internal reflection again from this we can easily define total internal reflection mind it when angle of incidence is greater than that of critical angle so how can you define total internal reflection okay so if when light travels from dense to clearer medium then if the value of angle of incidence in the denser medium is greater than the value of critical angle then this phenomenon then the total light reflected back or bounced back or returns back to the same medium this phenomenon or incidence is called total internal reflection clear so we can see there are two essential conditions for fulfilling of total internal reflection what is that you can see light has to travel it is must mandatory that light has to travel from denser to rarer medium otherwise it is not possible and number 2 the value of angle of incidence in the denser medium must be greater than that of critical angle of the medium now the question arises is it possible is total internal reflection takes place can total total internal reflection takes place while light travel from rarer to denser medium absolutely not absolutely impossible why just see from the diagram in what okay don't need to okay you can either reverse the diagram or you can assume this diagram assume in light is traveling from near to here here arrow is in this direction light is coming from here and moving in this direction assume light is moving from this direction to this it means if we okay change the arrow if we change the arrow in this case this will be angle of incidence and it will be angle of refraction so now gradually again we are increasing then why it is not possible it means to get at first first of all we need to get critical angle because critical angle is firmly associated with total internal reflection if there is no critical angle total internal reflection is not possible why because in this case you can see to get total internal reflection okay to, to make total internal reflection possible feasible angle of incidence must be greater than that of critical angle okay so in the third picture you can see assuming this is first medium this is second medium as i have told to reverse the picture since it is not possible it is much much easier to think light is traveling from this medium to this medium isn't it we can you can just reverse the direction of arrow it will become very easy isn't it so first incident here then this is the reflected again we are increasing it is it is also increasing this is i and this is r as well then in this case then in this case it will be i then you can see here when angle of incidence becomes 90 degrees isn't it just assume this is i this is r i just reverse the direction so that it will become easier for you is it so it is become i and it is become r r i now this is i equals to 90 degree now what happens in this case what is the difference now you can see what was happening in case of critical angle what was the property characteristics of critical angle the angle in the denser medium for which the value of angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degree that is called critical angle but here there is no okay there is no trace of image here 
Even when the y increasing, by gradually increasing the angle of incidence, you can see gradually further increasing with the value of the angle of incidence. Even when the value of the angle of incidence is maximum, that is 90 degree, we cannot increase further than that. Is it it? In this video. So when angle of incidence reaches its maximum value 90 degree, still there is a refracted ray. Still there is a refracted ray. But what is the definition of critical angle, the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which then obviously in that case it would have been rarer and it would have been denser. Then it is 2, it is 1. So the value of, so the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which angle of refraction in the rarer medium will be 90 degree. But here we are still, angle of incidence 90 degree still. In, in, in case of formation of the critical angle, there is no, there is no trace of refracted ray in the second medium. In that case, it just grays the medium, just passes the single boundary surface. But here, we can see, in spite of reaching the maximum value, after reaching the maximum value of the angle of incidence, that is 90 degree, still we are getting okay, refracted ray. So that's why it is not possible. Still, in, so that's why total internal reflection cannot take place if light travels from radar to denser medium, it has to travel from denser to radar medium. Okay, and angle of incidence is greater than that of critical angle. Clear? So now we will just return back to our previous position. Okay. So this was uh, the first medium. This was angle of incidence. We are just drawing. This is R. This is two. This is rare medium and this is denser medium because we have to do a lot of work now. I, this is R. Clear? Then here in this case, this is I and this is R equals to 90 degree. Clear? Everything is alright? Yes, I think alright. So, since in this case total internal reflection, as you can see, 100% of incident light is bouncing back in the same medium. So, it means it will just, the image, whatever will be formed in this case, it will be very shiny, very glossy, very bright. Isn't it? There are so many examples in our practical life. So many examples. That is the brightness, shininess of diamond. Because diamond is cut in such a way that once light is entered inside it, cannot get out cannot come out from it, cannot exit. It supports multiple reflection. It means it is confined in the first surface. And which is the basic reason behind its shyness, total internal reflection. Second example is the mirage, formation of mirage. That is an optical illusion which generally takes place in desert. And the desert travelers are get confused while finding the water bodies when they are, when they are suffering from severe Thirstiness, isn't it? When they become severe thirsty, then what happens actually in this case? This is total internal reflection, no problem with it. Now, what will happen now? This behaves, this surface in the case behaves as a plane mirror. We can assume since total internal reflection, though total internal reflection doesn't take place in case of mirror. Here we are assuming it. Since light is reflecting, so we can assume this surface as a reflecting surface. So now as we all know in case of a plane mirror the image which is formed is virtual image. So if we extend that light, isn't it? If we produce this ray in the backward direction, then you can see it forms a virtual image which is the virtual image of the real objective. So actually the water bodies is here and the desert traveler okay will move in this direction. He will move instead of moving in this direction, he will move in this direction which you will never reach for his entire life. So this is one kind of biggest illusion, isn't it? Which takes place in the desert because of total internal reflection. Again, during <coughs> summer, I have seen it so many times while riding bikes in the road because when I return back to home from school, then the roads are very, it, the road seems wet, wet. Or shiny, isn't it? When in shiny or shiny, shiny summer or shiny noon, okay. When passengers are going to ride bikes or cars, whatsoever, then from yonder at a 
At a long distance, it seems that the wind that someone has just poured water on the road. But as soon as when you move, when you get close to it, it disappears. It looks like the road is shining, or the road is, isn't it? It is that wet, isn't it? This is due to total internal reflection. Then a drop of water on the lotus leaves looks like diamond. It shines, isn't it? It shines like a diamond. This is all. These are the phenomena due to total internal reflection. Clear? Now moves on to the factors affecting critical angle. On which factor critical angle depends? First number one is the refractive index. Clear? From Snell's law. From this Snell's law, we can establish the relationship between the refractive index of the medium and critical angle. From Snell's law. Now from Snell's law. Look at the picture. Medium one and medium two. So from Snell's law, what? What do we know? This one new two. One new two means refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium. So since here first medium is glass or water. Okay, we have taken here as glass. So G new A. Why? One is G. You can see one medium is glass, so G for glass, and second medium is air A. So mu two by mu one. One mu two equals to mu two by mu one. So since two, so mu A by mu G. It represents the refractive index of air with respect to glass. Mind it, it doesn't express the refractive index of glass with respect to air. So mu A by mu G, we all know sine I by sine R. Very easy. We are assuming this diagram. Diagram number three. So sine I by sine R. So what is sine I? Here in the diagram. It becomes, isn't it? When angle of diffraction, okay. When the angle of diffraction becomes 90 degree, then it is, then it no longer becomes angle of incidence. Then it contains a new name that is critical angle. So instead of I, you can write sine I C C for critical. So that's why C letter is used here. Now sine R, sine 90. Why you can see when critical angle is formed. The value of angle of diffraction is 90 degree. So sin IC by sin 90. We all know that value of sin 90 is 1. So sin IC. So now we have found, we have found out here that is G mu A as I have told. Is it G mu A means mu A by mu G. That is refractive index of glass, uh, AR with respect to glass. It doesn't mean refractive index of glass. To represent the refractive index of glass with respect to air, we need to, we need its reciprocal. That is A mu G mu G by mu A. It represents mu glass. That is refractive index of glass. So since mu A by mu G is the refractive index of air with respect to glass means 1 by mu glass. It represents 1 by mu glass. Since refractive index of air is 1. Because we have already learned mu is equal to C by B. Mu is equal to C by B. So if it is mu A, it is obviously in the numerator C. Obviously, in the numerator, velocity of light in vacuum. And since we are talking about air or vacuum, it will be also C, so C, C cross 1. So that's why the value of refractive index of air or vacuum is 1. So that's why here 1, okay. So the refractive index of glass with respect to air means mu g. Okay. So mu by mu g means 1 by mu g, but we need mu g. So mu g by 1. It's just reciprocal, 1 by sin IC or sometimes theta C. Critical angle sometimes generally indicates by theta C also. No problem with that. So from here we can easily, this is mu G. Since in the denominator, if in the denominator it's mu G, it's, it doesn't represent the refractive index of glass. It represents the refractive index of AR with respect to glass. So it means 1 by mu. Is it it? It's 1 by mu G, mind it. But we need mu G. Clear. So from here we can easily say refractive index is inversely proportional to critical angle. Do not go for the value of cosec theta c. In some of the textbook it is written, okay, that is mu, uh, that is g mu a is cosec c, isn't it? Since a mu g is equal to 1 by sin theta c, so from this we can easily say g mu a is equal to uh, cosec c. It will just create confusion because that is at first the Cosec C is 1 by sin C, isn't it? Cosec C exists because of sin C. Here. Yeah. So, A mu G, because if we get cosec C, no problem, is it 1 by sin theta C equals to cosec C also? Cosec I C. Now, from here, somebody can say that then in this case, mu is directly proportional to theta C. No, we will not okay, consider, we will not consider cosec C in this case. We, we won't take, we will not put cosec. I see under this consideration because at first there is the existence of sine, then cosec. So 1 by sine 
ठीक है सी सो डोंट ओके सो जस्ट जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट व्हाट ए यू जी इक्वल्स टू कोसेक्स सी इट डजंट रिप्रेजेंट्स ओके इट विल जस्ट क्रिएट कंफ्यूजन सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ओके सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट इज इट विल क्रिएट दिस दिस एक्सप्रेशन दैट दिस इंप्रेशन दैट दैट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू क्रिटिकल लैंग्वेज इफ वी राइट कोसेक्स सी इज इट ऑब्वियसली इट इंडिकेट्स सो बट You will only have to remember the difference between mu and sin theta c in terms of sin i c, not cos i c. Okay, it will just create a pure confusion, nothing else. So from here, one by sin theta c. So mu is inversely proportional to one by i c means refractive index and critical angle are reciprocal are inversely proportional to each other. Means if it's if i c increases, mu decreases. If i c decreases, mu increases. Obvious, okay, opposite. We can see. Example. Now, if you see the values of the critical angle, it will be clearly proved from this. Okay. Now, the value of refractive index of glass with respect to air is 1.5. Okay. Now, putting air, you can easily find out the value of critical angle. So, in that case, the value of critical angle in glass air surface, glass air interface, is 42 degree. How will you get? Put the value of energy, which is 1.5. 1.5 is equal to 1 by sine theta c. So, sine Theta c is one by one point five. Then will be inverse value. You will get forty two degree. Clear. Now look now to find out the critical angle in case of water air interface. Now the refractive index of water with respect to air is one point three three, less than one point five. But critical angle increases. So from these two values, we can easily say that refractive index is inversely proportional to critical angle. Look, when the refractive index, when the value of critical angle was one point five, the value of critical angle was forty two degree. But when mu increases, when mu decreases, that is 1.33. But in case of different interface, what 1.33? You get the value of critical angle increases. So it clearly means, so it clearly establishes the relation that is inversely inverse relation between refractive index and critical angle. Move on to two, that is color of light means wavelength. In the previous case, we have already okay. In the previous video on the depending factor on of refractive index we already have seen that mu is inversely proportional to wavelength lambda and since isn't it oh sorry so here it will be since i can write proportional to t and here it is also proportional to t okay now why now in this case critical angle is directly proportional to wavelength and temperature clear why now refractive index is inversely proportional to lambda that is wavelength and critical angle is also inversely proportional to mu so inverse of inverse means direct clear it means critical angle increases with the increase in wavelength so we were so we can easily say in case of visible light for which the critical angle can be maximum and for which light it can be minimum since in the range of visible light the wavelength of violet is less so critical angle is less it means critical angle increases with the increase in wavelength so critical angle increases with red light whereas for violet light critical angle is less is it is it is directly proportional since wavelength of red light is maximum so critical angle for red light is also maximum violet light the wavelength of violet light is minimum so critical angle is for violet light also minimum next temperature again in the previous video we already see that is mu is inversely proportional to temperature again mu is also inversely proportional to critical angle so again inversely inverse means direct proportional so with the rise of temperature hotness temperature okay critical angle increases so it means in hot and humid condition desert or something else critical angle will increase whereas in cold places in cold region critical angle will decrease okay So this is all about total internal reflection and critical angle. Now we have already now since we have uh, we have already discussed about some natural phenomena, but this total internal reflection has a very wide range of application in our life, isn't it? In some instruments, since here hundred percent of light is getting back, isn't it? So using this property in some of the instruments, in camera, that is in total total internal reflecting prism. binocular in all these instruments this total internal deflection property is used 
Okay, since photon light is get back, okay, telescope by using and in so many in some in some cameras by using total internal reflecting prism, the image is generally made bright. So that because all these are instruments are generally works to get with the image. So here, so that we can get the maximum shining or brighting image. So there, in this case, binocular is some of the cameras, all these cases, isn't it? This total internal reflection is generally utilized. Okay. So what you have understood? That is the total internal reflection and critical angle. So we will meet in the next video with a new topic.